Hey, what's up? This is Lolia from Tumble. Oh God, how do I say this without sounding like a lame asshole? So nobody's being murdered in my house also. If you hear that, that is my eight million younger siblings that like to make noise all the time. Especially when I would like them to be quiet. Shut up! This is really good wine. So this is going to be a wine and a, wine and answers. Is this recording? Oh, it is. Hello. Uh, all right. This thing. And also, I cannot see anything without my glasses. I actually cannot see past about the one centimeter mark. Like, like here is pretty much my ability for sight without these face windows. So if I... It seems like something is out of place or, you know, I'm not in the center of this dome behind me, which is very aesthetically pleasing. I understand that, but I can't see that well. All right, let's get started. I have to go back to the beginning. Um, I think I have found the beginning. What's my dream job slash career? What is my dream job slash career? Hmm, I think I want to, you know what, I'm not entirely sure, which is kind of crazy. I am 21, I'll be 22 next year. Pretty much most people I know, most people I know. All right, I'm gonna close my door, okay? Just... You guys! So loud. So I think I my dream job would be working in the music industry. I would love to be a DJ. I am still training myself to learn how to do that. Uh, it's taken me a while, but I keep getting distracted with other things that I think are becoming my passions and I just can't decide on one thing. But right now I am focusing on learning to DJ really well, learning to make mixes really well. I already, I mean, I have the basics down, but to be a really good DJ, it takes time and practice, which anything does, so yeah, that would be cool, or I would like to be a stylist, but I don't really have the connections for that yet, so if anybody wants me to style them or send me free clothes, um, what are my goals in life is the next question, and my goals... I don't know to be happy and successful and make my parents proud because they have done a lot for me in my life and um, I don't know, just a fucking live man I guess. The D. Uh, the question was the D question mark. I don't know, S the D, go S the D girl or boy, you know, that's really all you're gonna say, go S one. Like what? I mean, I, get, I like the D, like what, what do you wanna know? Um, have I ever been arrested? No, never, never. Um, I've gotten close. Oh my God, I'm getting some under boob sweat. That's great. Top five rappers, dead or alive. God, he put me on the spot. I don't listen to rap that much, but I'm going to try and come up with five people because I, I mean, I like rap. So I love Outkast. Let's say they're number three three because I know there has to be two that I think are better but I just can't I just don't like being talked to in songs that much so I'm just gonna say in no particular order um Outkast uh Kanye Tricky kinda raps like he talks so I'm gonna count that as rapping um I know as soon as I finish this, I'm going to think of a bunch of more people. I like the Wu-Tang Clan. They're fucking dope. Um, okay, this one has a few. How old are you? Am I single? Okay, I'm 21. I'm not single. What do I plan to do with my future... I plan to graduate eventually. I'm on the road. I'm on the road to doing that, getting that out of the way. 
it's a long road, but it'll happen. No matter who you are, no matter how long it takes, you will graduate. You just gotta stay in school, like don't quit. But yeah, I plan to graduate and get a job and travel. I really wanna travel. I haven't been outside of the United States, so that's really lame. But you know, yeah, I wanna see the world, don't we all? Uh, how horny are you on any given day? Moderately? Am I crushing on anyone? My boyfriend? Why am I so cute? <laughs> Trust me, I'm not as cute as you guys think I am. <laughs> you don't see me IRL. Um, but thank you! That was sweet. That was a sweet way to end it after asking me about how horny I get. Do I have a Snapchat? Yes, it is Leah Marie with three E's. Like how it's spelled in Lolia, Lolia, and then Marie with three E's. How do you tell if a potential boy really wants to get to know you or is just interested in getting in your pants? Um, that's a good question. Okay, a good one is if he only wants to hang out like once or twice a week. Or hits you up late at night, something like that. Like, if he's not asking you out on a date, if he's asking you to come by or pick him up from work at 10 o'clock and then you guys can go get some fucking liquor and, like, do whatever or just come over and watch a movie. Like, girl. You know? I'm sorry. I keep touching my hair. I just feel like it looks crazy and I can't even see it. Oh, also, if he's really smooth talking, like, he always has an answer for everything that you want to hear kind of like he never tells you anything about himself if he has a past of being a hoe like he's a hoe he's not gonna change so don't think that you're gonna make that happen okay especially if he's young he's under like 23 and he doesn't ask you out on a date first or anything he's just trying to hang out like let's hang out sometime he's trying to get it and that's all he's trying to get it Am I flexible? No. Favorite form of art? Photography is really cool. What people can capture and turn stuff into. Like something you never think would be interesting. And then they take a picture of it and it's like, whoa, that makes me feel something. Because looking at paintings for some reason just doesn't do it for me. I go to museums sometimes and some of my... Mu my <sighs> My marbles are full of mouth right now. And this is my first class. I'm not even drunk. I'll go with my friends to museums who are more into art, just all forms of art. And they'll just look at paintings for a long time and be like, wow, this makes me feel this. Or this makes... And I'm just sitting there like... Okay, you know, this makes me feel like I want a hamburger and can we leave? What's the meaning of life? To enjoy it, I guess. I don't think that the only purpose we have here is to just procreate. We should enjoy our time while we have it because it's precious and who knows what happens after death, you know? So, how much do I charge per head? This much. Uh, my favorite wine. Haha. <laughs> uh, my favorite wine, I am... A very broke college student so I haven't tried that much nice fancy wine but one wine one wine that I do enjoy is some motherfucking barefoot Moscato that stuff is so good and so sweet and it gets you turned and I mean what else is the point of drinking so <laughs> but it's really good like I usually don't like dark wine like red wine but this is really good uh, what I'm drinking right now is called Sweet Red by The Long Hanging... Oh, fuck, I forgot. Uh. The Long Hanging Fruit. Sweet Red. This is really good. So if you don't like red wine, you should try this. All-time favorite is Barefoot Moscato because it's delicious and cheap. Would I ever go skydiving? <laughs> Hell no. Since you seem to be interested in film... Would you ever work in the film business? Definitely, that'd be awesome. I would love to work in film. Just doing whatever, writing screenplays, doing makeup. 
I would love to work on a movie set. That could be another dream job. There you go. Bad boys or sweet guys? I, I mean, I believe that there is a happy medium. I think I found it pretty much in my boyfriend now. I'm, I can't pick one over the other. And I know that's what people get annoyed with about girls. Like, why don't you pick the good guys? And it's like, the good guys? Like, y'all are good, but some of you guys are also kind of shitty. Because you expect, since you're so nice and you're so good, that we owe you something, which isn't the case. And I'm not saying that's all sweet guys. Like, it's not. But I'm saying there's pros and cons to both of the guys. Please stay away from the bad guys. Like, the young ones especially, They all they will do is cause you shit all day all night like just stay away from them oh my god i'm so i'm sweating like a motherfucker what is something you have tried but will never do again i tried percocet once like not that long ago and i wasn't prescribed it but uh, me and my boyfriend were just like let's do some crazy shit and i tried it and man future was lying to us like i was just tired and i felt weak and i think i puked so yeah i don't i won't be doing that again I'm not into pills, no. I'm not into coke, I'm not into pills. I like to keep it green, you know. What is a quirky, quirky habit that I have? I don't know. I smell my upper lips sometimes. My dad used to do it a lot. Like, you know, I don't know why. I guess it's quirky and weird. What is one thing you did in your past you wish you could undo? Oh, well, okay, I got one. Me and my mom used to fight all the time, like, well, not all the time, but a lot, um, as teenage girls and mothers do. So I think I would go back and slap myself and say, you don't know everything. Like, my mom was definitely hard on me. I was her first. She was definitely the hardest on me out of all of us, but she did not deserve my crazy-ass teenager self. Other than that, you know, I never took it too far, but I definitely talk back quite often. So I, I would take that back. Like She always pretty much knew what she was talking about. Kind of. <sighs> I'm going to start answering these faster because what? Like this has been 20 minutes now. Jesus. What is the one thing you want to experience before you die? I want to go to Hawaii and learn how to surf like really bad. That's, that's a big thing that I want to do. Surf. In Hawaii or just you know live in Hawaii actually too for like a year I would love to do that it's so pretty there and I love the beach and I don't really want to live on the west coast so Hawaii what is oh have you ever decided to kiss or make out with a guy just because you were horny yeah yeah it's not a big deal do whatever you want. Like, be a slut. Do whatever you want. What do you like being touched the most? Like, I don't know. I don't like being touched that much, actually. I feel like that's a loaded question. <laughs> Is it sexual? Is it not? What's your secret? Uh... I need to stop touching my hair. Good God. I'm blanking. I'm blanking hardcore. Is there something you stop doing even though you love it? I went to hair school. I love, I love doing hair and makeup, but I don't really do it that much anymore. So. What do you think? What would you do with a million dollars? Uh, I would invest half into some very, very lucrative stock. Put half in that so that I can be rich forever. And then take the other, like, 100K, go shopping. Man, I, I would give a lot to my family also. I don't know. Buy a lot of clothes. And a new, really nice condo like, on the beach. Not, I don't need a mansion. I want a small house. Like, big houses scare me. So I get a nice condo, really nice car and yeah what do you think happens after we die after we die after we die i think we are reincarnated as babies 
and we're just born into a completely different life and I don't think that your past life had anything to do with how you ended up in this new life but that's just what happened uh, my favorite cartoon right now is Rick and Morty because that show is fucking hilarious biggest pet peeve I really hate when people have boogers in their nose and they don't pick them if I can see it I'm probably gonna snatch it out of your nose because why is that there what state and city was I born in? I was born in Richmond, Virginia. What did you do for fun? I hang out with my boyfriend and my best friend and take pictures. I like photography a lot now. Um, I watch movies. I love movies. <laughs> um, I run another blog called Deadly Crush. You guys should all follow it because it's amazing. So yeah, when I'm just bored, I sometimes take screenshots of like <laughs> of like tv shows and um movies that i enjoy so yeah i do that uh, if i could live anywhere in the world where would i live i would live in i would live in nice nice and france right it's so beautiful the scenery just everywhere you go is just amazing i've never been there but I've seen YouTube videos of people vlogging from there and I'm just like, <laughs> why can't I be you? I'm in love, yes, I'm totally and completely in love with my boyfriend. <laughs> Hi, if you're watching this, baby, I love you. Favorite kind of pizza? I really like spinach and cheese, you know, yeah, spinach pizza is super good. Would you ever drive across country? Yeah. For the experience, probably only once though. I'm not a very patient woman. Um, do I fuck with McDonald's? Heavy. I know I shouldn't, but whatever. Do I write? I write. I used to write a lot. I used to write a lot of stories when I was younger. Um, I'm trying to get back into it. I'm trying to get back into so many things, but like that's why my mind always gets scattered and I lose track of what I'm doing. But no, I love to write. English has always been my best class, so yeah do i have a job nah i mean i help my mom like i'm kind of like her personal assistant like 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 like, like, like. Uh, other than that no because she has been begging me not to get a real real job i mean right now i'm kind of training to be a bartender but i don't really want to do it so i'm just focusing on djing and helping my mom out so that eventually i can start djing in clubs and stuff and you guys can start listening to my stuff because I'm still too shy to put anything out because I don't I mean I'm not a producer all right let's say that like I don't make beats I was trying to get into DJing and producing at the same time but that's kind of what got my, me all like what the fuck I can't do this but I'm past that point I'm moving forward with DJing and some mixes will be coming out soon I promise have you ever ate a weed edible or shrooms and what was my experience like yeah, I ate a brownie once, and I was baked. I actually ended up going to this Indian food buffet place alone, and just, ugh, I was so high. Like, I was so hungry, I could not, I don't know, I mean, it was a good experience. Like, nothing bad happened, yeah. I liked, I liked the brownie. Um, I had streams once on, I think it was like my birthday, my 20th birthday, yeah. And that was crazy, I guess. I, I didn't feel it as much as my friends did, but I felt very awake and I wasn't tripping that much. But yeah, I only tried that once. So I, I've only tried both of those ones. And the shrooms, it was chill. The shrooms, okay, the shrooms tasted gross also. That's one thing. I definitely remember the taste was nasty, but it, once you got past that, it was fine. The weed brownies are pretty nasty. Did I ever pop booty on a handstand? No. I can't even swear. Do I fuck with frogs? I guess. Frogs are cool, I guess. Um, what's my favorite kind of ice cream? Is uh, cookies and cream, probably? Or chocolate chip cookie dough. <coughs> what's some of my hobbies? Alright, I'm gonna put this wine glass down because I'm not even drinking it. Um... <laughs> Some of my hobbies include uh, 
uh, taking pictures of stuff, watching Netflix, going to class, hating it, um, doing my makeup, doing my friend's makeup, I love doing that, uh, hanging out with my boyfriend, yay, and that's it, I'm done, I'm done. Guys, I hope that was everything you wanted it to be. I mean, I tried. I tried my best. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. But um, thank you for sending your questions and following me and being amazing. And you guys are awesome. And I hope you're having a great night. And I'm done. I'm about to go watch hella Netflix and get hella wine drunk. Woo! And take off this goddamn shirt because it is a sauna up in my armpits right now. Okay, love you, bye!